All right, in this tutorial, we are going to look at how the traffic light would function in the VEX robotic automation system. The whole idea behind this build and the program for this build is that if emergency vehicles approach a stoplight, they can emit a sensor, or in our case, we're going to press a button, that causes a light to change and make it green for the emergency vehicle and red for the vehicles in the cross traffic. Once the emergency vehicle passes, the lights will go function like normal. So what we are going to do is get into Robot C, and we're going to use a new uh, configuration to our program called an if-else statement. And if-else gives you choices in, in what your program does. So I can say if the sensor value of something is a certain number, it runs part of a program. If the sensor value is not uh, meeting that criteria, it would run a different program. And this is what our traffic light's going to be. So if we hold a button down, it will run one program. If we don't hold a button down, it will run another program. So in the example I have on the screen, we can see I chose the sensor value of a potentiometer and said when it is greater than 1,500, start the motors. If it's not greater, stop the motors. It's a pretty simple program. It doesn't have to be a potentiometer. Here's a different program where I used a line tracker. Notice that it's still the same structure. It's if sensor value, and then a program, else, and then a different program. And in this case, if the line tracker is reading a value greater than 1,000, the motors will start slowly in one direction. If it does not meet the criteria of the sensor value, the motors will go in the opposite way much faster. So how do we do this? <clears throat> We're going to open a new file. Oops, let's try that again. We're going to open a new file. We have to set it to our GTT testbed. And then we're going to go up here in the top where it says control structures. So I'm going to click the plus sign by control structures, and these are called if statements. You notice just about smack dab in the middle it says if condition statement else statement. And that's what we want to drag over. Okay. Now if, and the condition is going to be a sensor value, you get to choose what you want. Uh, I think it's easier to do this with a limit switch or a bump switch. You're going to say if the sensor value of that limit switch or that bump switch is greater than zero, statement is the program that's going to run. If it is not greater than zero, that is you're not pressing the button, you're going to run a different program. Okay, and these are if else. The one thing you want to make sure whenever you do this is you do need those curly brackets on each separate program. So it doesn't put that in there for you, but this is the first thing I would do, is set up my curly brackets. Okay. So now if, I can double click type in sensor value, I can tell it what I want that sensor value to be, and then I can write my statement. I want the lights to go from red to yellow to green, or actually green to yellow to red, green, yellow, red, that would be my first one. And then if the sensor value would be different, I would run it as the else program. All right. Well, give it a shot. See if that makes sense to you. Uh, this is how to, tr to program the traffic light for VEX Robotics.